growing up, I was the quiet one in the family. I hardly talked to anyone. Hence the name, the quiet artist. I was only close to my mom. I still am. Many daughters are close to their fathers. But me and my elder sister were close to our mom. We had a lot of love and respect for our dad, my and Baba. But the day he left us, it hit us hard. We realized how close we were to him and how much we loved him. Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about my grief and painting a sweet memory. It's a memory that I remembered because of my grief. Please share your grief stories in the comments. I will be looking forward to reading them. Losing a parent is hard, especially when it happens suddenly. You could be having a normal day until something happens. Something triggers your memory. It could be a small thing. It could be a smell. It could be a picture. It could be a moment. A quick glimmer of a memory that stops you dead in your tracks and leaves you breathless. You close your eyes, take a deep breath and remember the memory. Because that is all you have now. Memories. I lost my father a month back and after he died, I am remembering every single memory like the one I am going to be painting today. Baba used to drop me early morning at 6.30 on my bus stop on his scooter. There used to be a big line for getting the bus. So I used to leave pretty early in the morning. But my Baba's scooter took ages to even get started. And I always ended up standing way behind in the line. Grief. Yesterday I read a quote by Rachel Lynn Solomon and it hit me home. The quote was like this. The thing about losing someone is that it doesn't happen just once. It happens every time you do something great you wish they could see. Every time you're stuck and you need advice. Every time you fail, it erodes your sense of normal. And what grows back is decidedly not normal. And yet, you still have to figure out how to trust forward. And I complete, completely agree with this quote. Every time I think about even a small memory, I lose them all over again. So I start painting. Painting every little memory, everything that reminds me of him. And I started baking again. I used to bake a lot. Lots of breads, pizza, croissant, nankatai, cookies. But his doctor had asked us not to give him any of those stuff. He was not allowed to eat them. So I stopped baking altogether. But now I am going to bake again. Bake in his memory. I might not eat whatever I bake. Maybe I will donate whatever I bake. I don't like eating all the rich meals now. Someday, I will enjoy them again. Someday. Anywho, back to the painting. When I think about this memory, no one was ever happy waking up in the morning. I remember um, when I was in nursery, I was maybe 3 or 4 years old. My Baba dropped me to school in a scooter, but I didn't want to go as I was being bullied badly in school. And I had no friends, as I was shy and reserved. But that's a story for another time. Anyway, I kept clinging to my dad, but my teacher ended, ended up taking me away. If it, it would have been in my dad's hands, I'm pretty sure Baba wouldn't have let me go. <laughs> After someone dies, you think of many things you could have done. Or rather you regret why you didn't do them like clicking more pictures with him. I hardly have handful of pictures with him. He was my designated photographer. He used to love clicking my pics all the time. Be it Diwali, birthday, Dasera, New Year, Christmas. My mom get, used to get agitated and uh, give, give up in 5 minutes. But Baba patiently clicked all my pictures. And he used to show me after clicking every pic that if it's okay or not. I just wish I could or rather should have taken.
photos with him. Now, if I have to post a picture of me and him, I have to scroll tons of pics and I end up finding only a handful. Oh, the regrets. The regrets. Like I regret always saying, I'll do this stuff tomorrow, Baba, don't worry. And he always said, tomorrow never comes. Tomorrow never came. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you here now with this sweet memory. Please share your grief story as well in the comments. I would love to read them. Next week, I'll be back with a memory. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you.